Cody and Janelle Brown's son Garrison was reportedly found dead at his home in Flagstaff, Arizona. Janelle Brown posted about his death on Instagram. Cody and I are deeply saddened to announce the loss of our beautiful boy Robert Garrison Brown, she wrote. He was a bright spot in the lives of all who knew him. His loss will leave such a big hole in our lives that it takes our breath away. We ask that you please respect our privacy and join us in honoring his memory. At this time, police said they are investigating the death as a suicide after Garrison was found with an apparent self-inflicted gunshot wound, according to US Weekly. The news comes after a few years of turmoil for the Brown family, with three of the four wives leaving Collie, including Janelle, Christine, and Mary. Robin is now the last remaining wife. You have to express understanding and hope that at the end of an era for us as a family, Cody told people in January. We still have hope of a friendship and a loving or kind relationship with each other in the future because we're bound forever through our kids. For 18 seasons of TLC's hit show Sister Wives, viewers have followed Cody Brown and the ups and downs of his puerile family life with his four wives and 18 children. Garrison appeared to have suffered a self-inflicted gunshot wound and was found dead in his home by his younger brother Gabriel, authorities told the outlet. In recent years, all three of Cody's wives but Robin Brown had left him creating major fractions in the family, including strained relationships with his sons Garrison and Gabriel. Amid the tragic news of Garrison's death, DailyMail.com takes a look inside the turbulent family life of the Sister Wives stars. TLC fans were introduced to the Brown family in 2010 when Cody, a prominent polygamist, was legally married to Mary Brown, 53, and spiritually married to Janelle and Christine Brown, 51. He then divorced Mary in order to legally marry new wife Robin. The first season of the show followed Robin's integration into the large family after the other three wives had been living and raising their kids together for 16 years. In September 2023, Christine discussed the fractured family bonds during an episode of the show, saying, there's so many things that are broken now, we're just not a family anymore. Christine was the first to leave, announcing her split from Cody in November 2021 after 25 years of marriage and six children together. The pair share daughters Aspen, Michaelty, Gwendolyn, Ysabel, Truly, and Sun Padden. A little over a year later, Janelle decided to leave as well, confirming their separation in December 2022. Aside from Garrison and Gabrielle, Cody and Janelle also share Logan, Madison, Hunter, and Savannah. Just a few days after, it was also confirmed that Cody's marriage with first wife Mary was done as well. The pair welcomed one child together, the young Brown, who goes by they them pronouns and is estranged from Cody. Meanwhile, Robin had three children from a previous marriage when she joined the family after meeting Cody at church in Sun Dayton and daughters Aurora and Brianna, whom Cody has adopted. They've also since welcomed two more children together, son Solomon and daughter Ariella eight. Janelle had choice words for Cody after she decided to spend Thanksgiving apart from the family due to his quarantine guidelines in 2022. Cody had introduced a strict set of rules to prevent COVID-19 spread amongst the family, but the guidelines put Janelle in a difficult spot as she believed their adult sons, Garrison and Gabrielle, should continue their social lives. Ultimately, Janelle decided to spend the holiday apart from the Browns in order to be with her sons but not without telling Cody to asterisk cough as she departed a family meeting. At asterisk cough, Janelle told Cody after the pair failed to come to an agreement over the guidelines. Things got tense during a family meeting where Cody told the women he would respect their decisions yet reminded everyone they had an obligation to a very large amount of people in order to keep their family running smoothly. Cody said he would cease monitoring their behavior but asked them to consider a much bigger picture. I told you this so that you can share it with your children so that they can understand the perspective instead of making phone calls to me telling me dad. Hey, your rules are taking a toll on our family, Cody said, citing a chat he had with Garrison and Gabrielle. You can continue in the vein of your little world, but I want you to understand mine. I think you understand the big picture that I have and I want you to just respect that, Ock. Cody said as Janelle began leaving. You know, asterisk cough, Janelle replied before turning her back on the group and departing. In 2022, due to the family patriarch's strict COVID-19 rules, in one episode, he admitted that the situation has reached a breaking point. Not good. Not talking, Cody revealed. He continued, it's like one of those relationships where we've got to do a lot of work. Cody went on to tell host Sukanya Krishnan that the situation escalated after he gave Garrison and Gabe an ultimatum 
over how they would be allowed to conduct their social lives while still living at his home. I make rules, you guys abide by them, he told Sukanya. I understand that these two needed their social lives. I totally get it. But in this case, COVID is different. He added, it's changed everything for everybody, and they want it all to be the same. They need to realize that they should go and date that girlfriend, that's fine, but you need to move out of the house so I can be home. Cody also looked back at an emotional moment between himself and Gabe, which was aired during the January 16 episode of the hit TLC series. In the scene, the father of 18 told Gabe that unless he stopped seeing his girlfriend, Cody would not be able to come over to the house to see his other kids with Janelle, lest he potentially spread COVID-19 to the homes he shares with his wives Mary, Christine, and Robin. The Wyoming native told his son, The real issue here is, you had to choose between me coming over or seeing your girlfriend. Through tears, Gabe asked, Why? Why was I made to make that decision? Gabe later said, My family is so focused on being right that this is ruining my family. After revisiting the episode, Cody said he felt that their disrespect for his TOVID-19 policies was at the root of their problems. We need therapy, he admitted. I need to sit down with my boys and get something straight. It got to the point where I'm so angry about what happened that we're not communicating. And I think they are too. Janelle and Christine have also strongly objected to Cody's enforcement of strict COVID-19 protocols, which resulted in further tension in their relationships. In 2023, Cody, after they revealed they don't need their father. I think sometimes that Janelle has pit me against the boys or never supported me with the boys, Cody said in one episode. Meanwhile, Janelle shared that Cody does have somewhat of a relationship with Garrison right now, but that there had been no reconciliation between them yet in a December 2023 edition of the Sister Wives. Look back special. The former couple's mounting issues came to a boiling in a 2023 episode as they got into an explosive argument while discussing their plans for Christmas. They accused each other of gaslighting as they fought about his estrangement from their sons Gabriel and Garrison over his TOV anti restrictions. You're always flipping it back on me, Janelle griped. That's because it belongs on you, Janelle. Cody hit back. Because he didn't support my stand when it came to actually doing the COVID stuff. The Patriarch introduced a strict set of rules to prevent the spread of COVID-19 during the pandemic, which only amplified his family's problems. Janelle was forced to choose between her husband and their adult sons, who continued their social lives and ignored their father's COVID-19 protocol. Cody questioned whether they were ever a team and called it Bowles asterisk when she used the excuse that he wasn't always around for their children. As the argument escalated, Connie continued to blame Janelle for the rift between him and their sons, and she felt she couldn't get a word in edgewise. Shut your f asterisk mouth and let me talk to you for a second, she told him. An outraged Cody stood up and prepared to leave, insisting that their relationship was over and couldn't be saved. There is no interest in understanding each other here. There is no interest in understanding. There is only a bitterness that has no place, he said. I don't expect you to back me up anymore. I'm not going to look for it. I'm not going to ask for it. I don't expect you to try and help us co-parent the kids. That's too late. We're never going to do that, so what partnership do we have?" he asked. Janelle grabbed his jacket in an attempt to get him to stay and talk, but he refused and stormed out. Asterisk, asterisk, Hugh, she said right before he slammed the door. In December of 2023, Cody said he wouldn't be interested in welcoming another sister wife into the family after his splits from wives Mary, Janelle, and Christine. Within a span of 14 months, he told Robin, I would have to tell that woman, I will never love you as much as I love her now I know better. Janelle said of Cody, he's now talking more and more about as we move forward into monogamy. So I think that's where he's headed. Janelle said she didn't predict Cody and Robin would seek other sister wives to expand their family as they appear very happy with the direction of their family after the series of splits. Robin did not sound as optimistic, as she said she felt it was weird to proceed forward in a singular marriage after entering a plural marriage in the first place. To be loving and respectful to Cody, I want to say yes but I just don't know how this works exactly, Robin said. It's weird I feel like it's disrespectful. In the special, Robin said that it felt disrespectful to be happy in her romance with Cody, as Janelle, Mary, and Christine have never formally given her their blessings amid the aforementioned dissolving of the trio of relationships. Garrison died via an apparent suicide Tuesday in his Flagstaff, Arizona home at the age of 25. 
Flagstaff police told that Garrison appeared to have suffered a self-inflicted gunshot wound after they responded to his house after receiving reports someone had died. Garrison was found dead in his home by his brother Gabriel, authorities told the outlet. Police told the outlet that foul play was not suspected in Garrison's death and that an investigation has been launched. It was not immediately clear if Garrison left behind a note or other communications. Janelle took to Instagram Tuesday afternoon to announce the tragic news on behalf of the family. Cody and I are deeply saddened to announce the loss of our beautiful boy Robert Garrison Brown, Janelle said. He was a bright spot in the lives of all who knew him. His loss will leave such a big hole in our lives that it takes our breath away. We ask that you please respect our privacy and join us in honoring his memory. Kelsey said in a statement to People on Tuesday, we are devastated to hear of the tragic loss of Garrison Brown. The network continued, We extend our deepest sympathies and heartfelt condolences to the Brown family at this difficult time.